you've got a dirty pillow. It might even look a little bit like this. And no, for the record, this pillow is not a prop. This is a real life Mattress Clarity employees pillow. And I'm not gonna name names because I'm loyal. It's not me, first of all, not me. But the point here is that your pillow might look like this and it might be time to clean it. You want it to look something more along the lines of this one. So if you've got a little bit of yellow, a little bit of drool, a little bit of stuff going on here, stick around because I'm gonna show you how to clean it. So no matter how clean your pillow is, if it's not comfortable, if you're not getting a good night's sleep, then it's not the best pillow for you. And if you're on the hunt, what I would suggest is just Googling Mattress Clarity Best Pillows. It's gonna be the first link that pops up. I did a lot of testing and I put together my picks that I think are gonna be the best ones for each different sleep type. Now, no matter what pillow you get, or if you're trying to deal with your old one, you're gonna to wanna to keep it clean and here's why. When you sleep at night, oils from your face, your skin, um, drool, night sweats, all of that will soak through your pillowcase and go straight into your pillow. I know it's gross to think about, but especially if you've got pets or kids, that's adding a whole nother variable to the mix as well. And it's important to keep it clean, bacteria, your sleep health. You wanna have the best night's sleep possible. That includes having the right pillow fit-wise and cleanliness-wise. Now, you don't have to clean your pillow all the time. It's not like a every week thing. Definitely keep your pillowcase clean, but your actual pillow can be washed every four to six months. So twice a year is really not that that hard I would suggest actually rotating your mattress every quarter and going ahead and washing your pillow at the same time it's a good reminder so now you know why it's important to clean your pillow let's talk about the ways to clean them so there's three main ways to clean your pillow machine wash and dry hand wash spot clean or don't wash it at all <gasps> What does that mean? I'll go into it. First of all, let's talk about the bigger category, which is the lovely machine washing and drying your pillow. It can be really simple. A lot of pillows, especially your microfibers, polyesters, shredded foams, down, down alternatives, all of those are machine washable and dryable. What you're gonna need to do is make sure you remove the cover, or if it comes with multiple pieces, remove all the pieces before you throw it in the washing machine and make a balanced load. Don't leave all your pillows on one side. It's gonna create an issue with your washing machine and cause you to need one sooner rather than later, which is a total added cost. Also, make sure you use a delicate detergent and what I would recommend in your dryer is putting a tube sock over a tennis ball and using that to help you break, break up the clumps, keep everything moving, especially if you've got shredded pieces or clumps inside your pillow. Now, what I wanna tell you about the down, specifically with machine washing and drying it, is to be gentle. Use a gentle cycle when you're washing it and don't turn it on too high of a heat because it has potential to burn the feathers. If you pull it out and it smells, believe me, you'll know the smell if you smell it, hand test it, see if there's clumps in there. It's probably not dry all the way. Definitely include that tennis ball in there and give it a little bit more time to dry. Now, the other thing I wanna to talk to you about is when you're gonna be able to only hand clean or spot clean your pillow. That's often the case when you've got latex or memory foam that's a solid piece. So the solid piece means that there's really no way for you to get it all completely dry because it's not broken up into little pieces. It's really easy for moisture to get locked in there and that's why it's really important you don't soak the pillow. So get a washcloth, put a little detergent on it, dab the area, wring it out, and then give it the ability to dry. I would recommend leaving it outside if possible, opening a window, letting it dry fully. And most cases, luckily, you're gonna be able to remove that cover and wash it in the machine. So keep an eye out for that. Lastly, I wanna talk about those special pillows that you're not supposed to wash the filling. One example is buckwheat hulls. They're hard, crispy sort of filling, and if you get them wet, they get soggy and you can't use them anymore. In that case, usually what you're gonna do is remove the filling and have that cover, which you can machine wash and dry. It does give you a level of cleanliness, but you're gonna to wanna to put those unclean buckwheat hulls back in before you use it. Time out, because I wanna to talk to you guys about money. Oh, what, Katie, money? What? Yes, that's right. We're giving away a $500 Amazon gift card because we love our subscribers. That will buy you a lot of pillows, probably for your whole family. All you gotta do is comment below and subscribe and you're in. So do it right now. Money, 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 Amazon gift card. Comment below and buy yourself a bunch of pillows. I'm about to say something super obvious here, but the best way to care for your pillow is to check the tag on it. Companies will include information either on the outside of the pillow, on the inside, or on their website for the best way to care for the pillow. That's gonna be the way you're gonna wanna go, first of all. But I wanna say, if you're like me, the tag gets in the way, you wanna snip it off, and you can't find it anymore, 
definitely follow the instructions I gave you below. Those general ones will help you for sure. Or comment below, tell me your details on your pillow, tell me which one you have. I'll do my best to help you figure it out as well. And lastly, if you're feeling like maybe your pillow just isn't doing the best it can for you, don't hesitate to Google Mattress Clarity Best Pillows. I put all my favorite picks up there, did a lot of testing, and I've got a lot of great information on there. Thanks.